everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is obviously being filmed at night because you can see all of my shadows and that sort of thing. So, my studio lights are on, they're super bright and they're really hot, so it's making me really hot. It is like sweaty in here. One of the major things that you shouldn't be focused on, especially here on YouTube, is subscribers and view counts. Yes, they're important, but finding your niche or niche or... Eh? Finding your special spot here on YouTube can be a little bit challenging. My channel first started off as a beauty channel and then it went into body modification channel, which I have taken down all my body modification videos, just if you were wondering. And then it turned into pregnancy vlogs and mom related things. And I don't know, I'm like talking with my hands, talking with my hands. Anyway, <laughs> off topic, um, one of the main things I see a lot of new YouTubers be really worried about is subscribers and view counts. I really feel like you shouldn't be worried about subscribers. They're going to come and go and basically the ones who stick around and watch you all the time are the ones that you want to cater your videos to. I don't follow what everyone else is doing because that can get really monotonous and kind of boring if you see a bunch of videos of the exact same thing. It all depends on tagging and your SEO. Now, your SEO is your search engine optimization. Basically, a lot of people still think that all of the SEO includes is your tags. It does not. You want to write out your descriptions for each video in tag form without it seeming like tags. Does that make sense? When you're doing your description, make sure you put as many descriptive words as you can into it, but break it up throughout the whole thing. Especially if you put social media links, you can include other things and, you know, just kind of work at it that way. If you guys want more SEO help, then please let me know down in the comments below and I'll help you out. But another thing I've noticed is that people are not putting in a description. You're not going to get views if you don't add a description. Having no description available underneath your video, to me, I'm not really going to watch it because they didn't take that time and effort to actually go in and help describe your video or even leave links for me to other videos or social media so I can follow you. How am I supposed to do anything if I don't see that? Another thing is how to meet other like-minded people. And by like-minded people, I mean especially here in the mommy, YouTube, stratosphere, universe, whatever. My words are just coming to me. A little bit challenging. Um, one of my things that I like to do is I will go onto channels that I really like and I watch all the time. Most of the time, if you've gone through and you've actually completed your profile, you have featured channels or channels that you like to watch or channels that are similar to you, and you literally put them into your profile. What I like to do is every once in a while, I'll go through some of my favorite channels or channels that I have found that I like, and I'll just go through and I'll look at their featured channel list, and I'll subscribe to some new people, I'll talk to them, and get to know people that way. There's also a YouTube mommy meetup group on Facebook and I'll put the link to that down below. That was started by my friend Dana or Miss Diaper D here on YouTube. And yeah, that's a really great pace, great pace. That's a really great place to meet other moms. There's a lot of other moms on that group. So you can definitely find some people that you're wanting to talk to, to befriend, to do all sorts of things with, collab with. Everything is there on that channel. Another way you can gain subscribers is through comments on other people's videos. Now, I'm not saying do the tacky thing and say, hey, I have this new video, you should go check it out, or you should check out my channel, or I just subscribed to you, you should check out mine, and vice versa. The tacky, and I really hate seeing it in, like, personally, I hate seeing that. So I don't give that, if that makes sense. What you can do is give a really good comment. And basically, a really good comment is you can compliment them, you can find something in their video that maybe not a lot of people have noticed, or something that they may have said but they weren't actually talking about. 
kind of describe that in the comment. I like to leave comments about something that someone says personally or about a pet or a kid or that sort of thing. It just whatever gets the conversation going, you want it to be unique to where they'll actually comment back, especially to if you're talking to bigger YouTubers. Definitely have it be a little bit more personal, not just like, what is that? Where's that from? All of that type of thing. You want to kind of personalize it to that person. And I like to give really great comments and I'll chat with them and talk to them. I wanted to mention is profile pictures. They're huge. They are like your first impression that someone's going to have of you. So don't have it be like of your dog. Unless your channel is all about dogs and have it be like that. But have your profile picture be relevant to your channel. Does that make sense? Don't forget to do all of the fun stuff like subscribe if you haven't and you want more cool mom videos of me in like nighttime dancing. Yeah, yeah. Like this video. Big hugs from my family to yours. Have a good night.